the year was 3564. The 107th Indoline Praetor, Rodalis, had sent an armed expedition against the country of Sia. Its capital, Amranta, fell overnight and sank beneath the clouds, along with the rest of the Titan. The destruction of Sia shocked all the nations of Allrest. Officially, the act was attributed to a military alliance led chiefly by Indol and the emerging power of Mor Ardain. In fact, it had been the work of one blade, the Aegis, a man known as Melos, said to be the architect's word incarnate. Back then, neither Laura nor myself knew how closely his fate would prove to be tied with ours in the days to come. You're that eager to die? Then allow me to assist! caught up in it. Laura, can you smell it? Huh. Oh, it stinks like... Uh. Yeah, no doubt about it. Blood. It's driving me crazy. Thank you, Jin. Well, we've got room for improvement. Of what? This fighting style. It magnifies our strength, sure, but it leaves us wide open. When the sword is in my hand, you're left defenseless. What, you won't keep me safe? Huh? I'll keep you safe, always. I'll keep you safe, always. You... you still remember that? I've thought about it. Every day for these 17 years. I'll never forget it. The day you set me free from a life of misery. I see. What happened? Are you alone? Looks like the only survivor. These burn patterns don't look like Malice's handiwork. Must have been humans. Looting and pillaging while the world burns. 
okay, it's okay. Would you like to come with us? You don't have to worry, really. We're all good people. Promise. Can you walk? You can. Good going. And your family? Were they there with you? Should we go back and... Mikhail. Hmm? My name is Mikhail. Oh, right. I'm Laura. And he's... I don't have a family. I was sold to this village from Estem. So I'm all alone. I see. Right then. Starting today, we're going to be your new family. We'll take you back to our friends and... You people? You're strangers. You don't have to pretend to care. Uh... uh <laughs> you don't beat around the bush, do you? He's gonna be a handful, this one. Though really, I was just the same once. Very well. Friends first then, not family. How's that sound? Laura. Hmm? What's up? I'll scout the area. Look after him. Oh, of course. Be careful. And Jin. I know. What was that you said, Baldrick? The sea and capital of Omrantha has fallen. Or rather, it was annihilated. Praetor Redalus. So it has come to pass after all. Respectfully, you aren't much of an actor, Eminence. It appears you are not surprised at all. We heard disturbing rumors circling among the Magisters. Amalthus, whom you recently elevated to Quester? People wonder if this calamity has anything to do with that man's blade. With such extraordinary power, is it really wise to, uh... No matter whose power affected it, it is sure to serve the greater glory of Indal. The Architect will surely be pleased. Eminence, do you believe it can be controlled? If it cannot, I will let him take the blame. I have... spoken. Thank you for your report, Magister Baltric. You may return to your duties. Hmm. How sad. That village, I mean. It is. That blade, Malos. He didn't do that, did he? The towns raised by the Aegis were completely obliterated. I plan to inform the mercenaries of this. How could a person do something so awful? Anyway, you should rest now. We should be able to meet up with Hayes tomorrow. Oh, yes. 
I wonder if she's found any leads on Mother. I hope so, anyway. I'll prepare food, then rest up. Oh, that's kind of you. Thanks. Looks like Hayes isn't here yet. be the village of Feltley. It's almost like glass. Rumor among the mercs says that's the hallmark of the Aegis. But why would he do this? Look out! No normal monster. Not an Ardanian Titan weapon either. Maybe it's Malice's. Get down, you two! <sighs> Holy... That was a close one. Looks like Malos's artifices are still roaming around. So it was. Hey. Wait a minute. Emblem of Torna. You are Jin, right? Wow, I can't believe it. I came all the way out here, and who do I say but the paragon of Torna and his driver? <laughs> You're so young. That core crystal was stolen 17 years ago. Quite a feat to pull off that heist at that age. Are you going to arrest us? Execute us? I don't know yet. I did just save you after all. Oh, how magnanimous. Laura, there's no point in talking. Have it your way. You! Both of you! 
Huh? That last attack, the force behind it was absurd. I'm amazed. Oh, uh, really? Well, that's just... <laughs> oh, and passing the weapon. What a concept. How did you ever come up with that idea? Oh, well... We were broke. Huh? We couldn't afford meals, let alone another sword. And so we made do. <laughs> You're kidding. <laughs> oh, man, you guys are the best. I haven't laughed this hard in ages. Huh? I really, really like you two. Um... Uh... Master Adam! Sir! Milton! Oh, thank goodness you're all right. Master Adam, are you hurt at all? Master... Adam? You can't be THE Adam Origo. The Lord of Aletta. And fourth in line to the throne of Torna. I've been with him the whole time. You really think these two would cause any harm? You've been using your dumb artifice again, haven't you? Dumb? So yeah, sure, nothing to worry about, right? <gasps> Milton? Who's this then? Ah, this is Hayes. She rescued me from the jaws of some nasty monsters. Well... I'd better give her my thanks. Hayes! Oh, was she with you? I'm sorry to keep you waiting, my lady. I see. So that's when... What a sad, sad tale, Laura. <laughs> Here we go again. Don't let it get cold now. So then, how come you've enlisted with a band of mercenaries? I guess I like the freedom. This way I'm not tied down. So I can help out. With causes I really believe in, you know? Going's tough everywhere you look these days, right? I can't ignore it, can I? I understand. A fat load of good that'll do. In the long run. The world keeps turning anyway. You might think that. But mercenaries and statesmen each have their own views and ways to affect change. It's not in vain. <laughs> A blade siding with humans. You don't see that every day. I think it's blades like you that are rare. Well, duh. You do know what I am, right? Lacking in compassion. Huh? Blades like you really are a rare sight. That may be for the best. <sighs> so, about Jin. I suppose you have to take him away from me. I could try to slay you right here. But? But my mission is to stop the Aegis's destruction. To subdue Malos, not to seek out lost trinkets. Who cares about paragons anyway? Huh? How about you two join up? Lend us your strength. You're incredibly powerful. There's loads I want to pick up from you, like that trick from before. 
Let's see. We'll say I found the Paragon on my journey and decided to entrust him to you. To help with Malos. Well, sound plausible? That's just... speak to me like that. He thinks he knows me. Course is the word. Yeah, he is. I meant you. Me? He you meant you're unpolished. After you return to your core, you lose your memories. However, as you gain experience with people, gradually the nature of a blade Rather, their feelings. They change and grow. You become more and more human. But you purposely keep yourself apart. Oh, so now it's my fault? No, not at all. I respect that part of you. <laughs> Angry about this whole Malos thing. I'm not. Whatever happens, I'll protect you. Be sure of it. We cannot simply ignore what's happening in the world. But. But what? Please say you'll be careful. <laughs> I will. Um, Your Highness? Just Adam is fine. What is it? The going off to Malos thing. Could it wait a few days? Oh, is there something you need to do first? I... well, yes. You see, Lady Laura seeks the whereabouts of her mother. Unfortunately, she has her mercenary duties to perform. Therefore, I often go out and conduct these searches myself. I see. Then, you found her? Yes. With all that happened yesterday, I did not have the opportunity to say... My lady, your mother is currently residing in a small hamlet called Torigoth. Torigoth. That's on the edge of Gormot. Ardanian and Sian forces clash out there frequently. It's very dangerous. Indeed. Right. No time to waste. Let us head out there. What? But what about your mission? You don't want to see your mother? Of, of course, but... Then let's go. Malos hasn't hit that part of the world yet. It's as good a place as any to look. You're hoping we might find him there? Exactly. That sounds too easy. We go to the village of Torogoth to find Malos. And you go to Torogoth to find your mother. Everybody wins. And once I found my mother, I join up with you? Hmm, that's the general idea. I'll send my people to notify your mercenary friends. And perhaps we could find a place for your mother in the capital. It should be safe there. 
Is this normal princely behavior? Well, you think this is bad? Just stick around for a bit. Nobody's, like, making you come along, you know. Well, unfortunately, a driver and blade are one in body and soul. As if you don't do whatever you feel like anyway. I know this is all very sudden. Still, we don't know where we'll run into Malos next. It makes sense to stick together, as much as we can. Isn't that... Mistaken it. That's the blade. And that little brat, too. Aye, it's Blue Fist. was wiped out. Found myself some great cool crystals, eh? Hey? And I found something else too, something real interesting. Take care of this, okay? I'll be in touch. Ha! Fate's a funny thing. Never thought I'd get to take back that paragon. What I stole in the first place. Oh, no. Here, too. Gormot's an attractive target, but this... Whoever did this clearly had no compassion or respect for the people they killed. Well, whether it was Malos or someone else, either way, clearly, they're all toast. Mithra. Laura. It's... it's okay. Mother could have run away somewhere safe. Look, fresh graves over here. This kind soul must have dug them all. <sighs> mm. 
What's wrong? Should... Should we maybe bury him, too? Huh? Hm. Yes, let's. Surround them. Huh? Artanian troops. Imperial Guard. Thieving scum. Don't think you're gonna get away with your dirty deeds. What? No! We just... Problem, Captain? Cheap trick. Keep going like that, you'll get a reputation. Cheap, you say? Don't be absurd. It's called tactics, look it up. But perhaps that's something a simpleton like yourself could never hope to comprehend. Uh, a simpleton? Your attacks scream it. Clumsy, heavy, no refinement. Uh, I was gonna go easy on you. But now, now you have pissed me off! <laughs> Mithra, stop! We've got children here! What was that? If that had actually hit me... Oh, <laughs> didn't like that, did you? I can see it on your face. Well, on that note... Haste! Understood. What? How? Is this... you? What the hell? She's our enemy! I 
Adam plainly ordered you to stop. Or didn't you hear him, simpleton? God. How extraordinary. I'd heard of a blade with the power to restrain others, but I never thought... And did she say Adam? It can't be. All of you, lay down your arms. There is no need for this. Hello? It's good to see you again, Prince Adam. Please forgive the actions of my guards. Don't you worry about it. I am just glad to see you well, Your Imperial Majesty. Imperial Majesty? May I introduce? The Emperor of Mor Ardain, Hugo Ardenach. The Ardanian Emperor? What's someone of his station doing out here? You know, our stations are fairly similar. Not that you'd ever know. Thanks, I try. I've come for the Aegis. Its actions have been felt in Mor Ardain as well. We're currently chasing it down. The same as us, then. But coming here yourself. My brother is ruling in my absence. I see. And so you brought Bridget and Aegean. Huh? Those two are the crown jewels of the Ardanian forces. Wielding them on the front lines is the duty of he who has the throne. Indeed. That ought to have been my older brother. But he didn't have the potential to become a driver. And now, here you are, bonded with both of them. The Special Inquisitor is under my brother's direct command. Oh. Should I fall in battle, he has his orders to retrieve the core crystals. That sounds cold. That's how it goes with matters of state. And yet, it works out well for me. I have always wanted to put myself on the line for our people. And I never enjoyed wielding authority in the first place. I feel the same way. I don't get why anyone would want to sit on a throne. Yes, that. If Prince Zetar knew, there would be consequences. Let's pretend you didn't hear me say that. You two will never see eye to eye. Better to leave well enough alone. Ruling is, frankly, it's a scary thought. Just imagine becoming someone you don't recognize. Never knowing who's looking back at you in the mirror. Prince Adam, I'd be happy if you called me Hugo, like old times. I will, dear Hugo, but only if you call me Adam in return. Well, it would be beneficial to share our findings, but perhaps elsewhere might be better? How about your Majesty's flagship? Indeed. Flagship. Is something the matter, Lady Laura? I I'm just not very good in that kind of stuffy environment. Oh, well, you're not alone there. That's the worst. Right? I think I'll sit this particular venture out. Yeah, I'm out too. Oh, no, you don't.
Wait a minute. Is that her? Yes, this is Mithra, one of the Aegises. <sighs> Your account would be valuable as well, Laura. Everything I've seen or heard, Jin will know as well. Uh, uh yes, that's true. Please, would you go instead of me, please? Of course. I will do as you wish. Thank you kindly. Well then, shall we? Interesting thing you've got there. Malice enough. It's all right. In Dahl's most sacred treasure, the Aegis. It is said to be the embodiment of the Architect's light, the divine revelations our founder Maldonare received. Really? Then... That's what I will be called, too. After all, I am born of divinity, not just some reflection. You believe yourself so strong? <laughs> Don't you? Your situation doesn't look good. Baltric is not going to let it go. Hmm. <laughs> And you can't hide behind the Praetor forever. That has nothing to do with you. If that were true, you wouldn't be here. Tasty secret, formerly known only to the Praetor and me. The essence of our Judician forebears, originally salvaged from the bottom of the Cloud Sea. Some of it may hail from the fabled land of Moritha. Moritha? Look. This here display is a diagram of what human cells are made of. And then this one here is a blades. Astonishingly alike. Of course. After all, they are descended from humans, too. That in and of itself isn't too shocking. But this... It's the same, isn't it? Just wait. That, that's a core crystal. Exactly. A blade's core crystal contains information not only pertaining to humans. It also records schematics describing all manner of animal tissues. You're saying blades contain detailed information of all living creatures? Not just that. Have a look at this undeveloped part. That is from a titan. It suggests that this 
particular piece may one day develop into a titan. Isn't it mind-boggling? A message from the architect, no doubt. From the architect? Indeed, this is just what you were after. I wish to investigate this and learn more of what the architect has in store for this world. And perhaps claim this knowledge for our own. Including the Praetor? Perhaps. Hmm. Isn't this in line with your own goals? Well then, I may as well help out. Right. So it was the Sian forces that ravaged this area. Yes. Many troops remained here with no orders after Malos sank their homeland. We're doing our best to disarm them, but... Well, you've seen the village. Sadly, it's happened more than once. The powers that be bicker among themselves, ignoring the larger danger. And right now, that is the one thing we cannot afford. I will go take a look. Incidentally, how has Torna been faring? I'd like to tell you that the people bask in the peace of His Majesty's rule. But I'm afraid that would be a lie. Same as everywhere else, then, yes? Torna has not escaped Malos's rampage unscathed. If that is so, allow me to offer you the Imperial Army's assistance in this time of... Don't worry about it. This is exactly the reason why Indol entrusted her to me. Ah, so you came. The future king of Torna. I'm glad I thought to send a messenger. King, don't joke about it. Rumors like that could cause trouble at home. I am merely a quester. I hold no such influence. A quester today, but tomorrow? The core's color is different. And she's a woman, too. Mm. Quite lovely indeed. Malos was all brawn and brutish strength. You worry? No, quite the contrary. Everybody knows a blade's appearance bears no relation to their power. You could be the heroine of our resistance. No, I won't be anyone's anything. That's fine now. I have only one thing to ask of you. To rectify the mistake I made. And erase Malos from the face of the world. So that's why... The returning hero, Pacifier of the Borderlands, was really just... Never before has a blade broken free and rampaged like this. I can see why Indol would prefer to keep it quiet. They're even rooting support to the militia through Argentum for deniability. And then towards you. I'm just some princeling. Me. Surely, if you defeat Malos, your cover will be blown. If indeed. But we're not in it for the glory, are we? When we're done, I'll just plow my fields in peace. Your Majesty. Some of our troops have returned to base, but... Is something wrong? They're all reporting something strange. 
a marauding group of routed mercenaries, trying to avoid any attention. Just remnants, hmm? That is strange. There's not much around here for them, in the way of paid work or opportunities for looting. As your majesty commanded, our men did not engage. We confirmed their bearing, then withdrew. And? Where were they going? The village outskirts. But why there? There's nothing but graveyards. <laughs> what the? Oh no. At first, I thought to take it. But I'd made it for her, and I'd like her to keep it forever. So, the bitch is dead, is she? Shame. I had a soft spot for her. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> Guess you learned how to use a weapon at least. Big change from a tiny kid trying not to piss herself in fear. You're... No! God! You remember me? Ham touch. A face that ugly, I couldn't forget. Trust me, I tried. Hush! What do you want? Not that I can't imagine. I'm here to take back what's mine, kid. But before that, I'll take a bit of time to express my gratitude to you. It ain't gonna be pretty or quick. Watch as I cut you into little sticky chunks, just to make sure the last thing he feels is complete despair. I'll hold them up. You get to the others quickly. No use. Hayes, he knew about you. He brought no blades, just more mugs. Exactly. Don't worry. I'm gonna treat you real good before I get to the cup. You're starting to piss me off. Oi! Surround them so they don't get away! My lady, you have to go. It's all right. He's here. You bastard! No!
So you let him go. Even without his arms, he may cause you more trouble. One day. I didn't want to end it here. He might deserve it, but he did take care of my mother, so... Hmm. Let's go back. I suppose I can bring myself to step foot on this flagship after all. Thank you all for joining me here. I'm afraid I have important news that I need to impart to Adam. Oh, yes? It's about the militia. The who now? I've been gathering an army in Uriah. People who've lost homes, families. People who'll make a stand against Malos. Well, according to intelligence we received, they have departed from Uriah now. What? Why? Malos's whereabouts are still unclear. It seems that Uriah has conscripted them all. It's now a special regiment of the Orion self-defense forces. I thought I'd sorted this all out with the Orion King. At His Majesty's behest, we have ascertained the position of the moving troops. They are heading to Torna as we speak. We have established communications, so you can send word at any time. <sighs> when they get to Torna, tell them to go to a letter. <sighs> As you say. That wasn't like you. Huh. You think so? Yes. I thought you always know what to do. You're never lost. I wish that really were the case. To tell the truth, I'm always worrying. Ever since I became Mithra's driver, anyway. It didn't seem that way at all. Power lends one an air of capability. Even more so when it comes to the Aegis. When we first met, we could have burnt you to pieces. Though fortunately, we avoided that thanks to Jim. Is that why you were away from the militia? As I am, I am not in full control of Mithra's power. Scores of soldiers could die by my hand. I was frightened. This cataclysm Malos caused, it's likely all because Questa Amalthus was unable to control him. And if that's true, then perhaps I too. I think she's well aware. Just... 
not so comfortable saying it. That's your analysis. Well, I have been with Jin, the paragon of Torna, for 17 years. I can roughly tell how much of their strength the blade is using just by watching them. She's making sure you... No, she's holding herself back to make sure she doesn't go that way. Deep down, she's very kind. You think? That still means I'm just not mad enough. Don't think that way. You'll get used to it little by little. I was the same. If only time would slow down and afford me the chance. Yeah. Miss me! Lord Adam! Lord Adam has finally come back! Welcome back, Lord Adam. Wow. Someone's got himself a bit of a fan club. Maybe that's why he decided to take action. To wield that love for good. By the way, Adam gave the order to meet in this place specifically, right? What's so special about it? This land is Adam's domain. Look, that over there is his manor. Ah, oh, certainly fit for a prince. Eh, it could stand to be bigger. And, you know, not in the middle of nowhere. Are you completely incapable of saying something without sarcasm? Sorry, it's just how I am. I don't really think I can help it. She's right, though. It is quite away from the capital. He is far too esteemed for his own good. Fourth in line to the throne, but loved by soldiers and citizens. His relations with High Prince Zeta are quite strained as a result, I hear. Really? I suppose even princes have problems. Mick, mind cutting the veggies? Mm. Hey, you're pretty good at that. Not really. Anyone could do it. Looks good to me anyway. Then I think I'll get to the meat. Oi! Mithra! Huh? What are you doing? I'm preparing the meat, of course. Are your eyes not working or something? I'll cut it out. Back away and don't touch anything. What? But why? Seems like fun. Why don't I help, too? Don't encourage her. You wouldn't talk that way if you knew the atrocities of Mithra's cooking. Atrocities?
does more damage to you than any artifice ever could. Hey, watch it! Don't go around saying mean things like that. Uh, Mithra. Can I borrow you? <sighs> what is it? I'm about to help with dinner. Laura, you too. Would you mind sparring with me, please? I don't mind, but... Why don't I help with the cooking? Oh. Well, all right then. Laura, even when I foresee your movements, you counter me instantly. I couldn't do it without Hazel's power. What about you? I don't see you using Mithra's hidden ability. And what if we did? Well, if you did... I just have to bring out my original blade. Master Adam. Your evening meal is ready for you. Oh, is it that time already? The days are so long at this time of year. I just start losing track. Oh, finished already? That's a shame. I was hoping to join in. Join in? By yourself? His Majesty has many pressing matters to attend to. Besides, I'm used to working alone. A driver and blade are one in body and soul. That's their very nature. You're not at full strength without him. It's not so simple as all that. I know I've yet to unlock the depths of your power. Really? I feel like I've been giving it my all. But you never stop growing. At any rate, Hayes' ability to restrict other blades is indispensable. It's perfect for training. We're lucky. When she stops me using my foresight, it's certainly difficult. Oh, but you honor me too much. I'm just happy to help you both in any way I can. Next to each other like that, you really do look like twins, you two. It's rare for the driver's nature to appear so strongly in their blade. People tell me that from time to time, but is it really true? Perhaps. But whatever the reason, I am happy if I look even a little like you, my lady. We're even the same dress size. Right? <laughs> <laughs> By the way, we want to try taking you on next, Jin. Well, how about it, Jin? I'm afraid I don't particularly like fighting. And to think we're hearing that from the strongest man in Torna. But perhaps there's truth in those words. After all, he... or rather, they... My lord, my lady, we've discovered Malos' target. The capital. What? Are you sure? Yes, no doubt about it.
Aye. Malice. And here I thought I had seen the last of you. Now, now. I never meant our parting would be forever, you know. I've just been to see the Torn and Titan. I bet it'd be real interesting to see it in its true form. Where did you learn that? Learn? Inside my core, I have all the data of all Blades and Titans. You have all of it? You think to call yourself the Master Blade? Sure, why not? Sounds good. So, exciting, right? My partner. I hear you gave her to that torn in prince. And if I did, you'd erase me? Just like that? Not at all. I have a much better idea than that. I've decided my next target is Torna. Why would you tell me so plainly? So you know what to look forward to as you watch. I see. So this comes from the Quester. But he doesn't know what Malos is planning for Torna. We should probably hurry. Soon. We'll go once Hugo's back. way of fighting. Good story is all I'm saying. You want to hear? Another time.
That was close. Thanks, Minoth. You're very capable, even on your own. Uh, well, maybe I should thank him, or not. Your core looks... kind of different. Ah, well, I'm a flesh eater. A flesh eater? A being with human and blade cells. Made possible with Judician technology. That's how I can use my full strength anywhere, without my driver. But, I'm pretty sure I'm a failed experiment, so to speak. I never knew blades like that existed. Flesh eaters. What of Amalthus? Isn't he coming? Nah. I just heard rumors that you guys had entered Torna. I used my own initiative. Ah. It's been two years since I saw him last. Huh? Too late. Is that right? Was that their child? That soldier? Wasn't that the one from... Such a cruel world we live in. Huh. In Indol, there are a great many paintings depicting all manner of hells. But I think real hell might be closer to something like this. Amalthus, you can't. I had hoped once that the architect might save us all. Since then, I haven't seen it. I heard he went climbing up the world tree not long after. And brought divine revelations back with him. You mean... The Aegis. Malos. But what kind of revelation is this? What kind of salvation? Could anyone call this salvation? His hope caused this, or his despair. Despair? How about you, then? You're from the same stock? I don't know what you're talking about. I'm just following this guy since he woke me up, and that's basically it. I have no particular interest in this world or its future. And Malice himself? His thoughts, I'm especially uninterested in. We've never even met. Please, don't mistake her. Despite the attitude, she's a good kid. What the hell is with that tone? Where do you get off acting all parental? <laughs> oh, come on! I woke you up. I make sure you get enough to eat. What? Cloud sea crab sticks are tasty, aren't they? You're very welcome. Although, I don't think I'd have managed to eat six myself. What? You counted? I don't know where you put all that. I'm the Aegis! I need all the fuel I can get!
You are too easy to sneak up on. Where are my extra rations? Oof. You little... <laughs> the Aegis, bested by a little kid. <laughs> Milton! Get back here! <laughs> hmm? You know, if the architect really does exist, I'd quite like to meet him. Salvation, huh? Your sword swapping fighting style. It's very interesting, you know. It's still quite rough, though. I'm a bit lacking in oomph. It'll take me a while to get it down properly. See, I wasn't actually talking about the power or technique. Oh? What then? That connection you have. Human and blade. It's like a bond of sorts. I just found it curious. An actual... bond? It's like that's how it's supposed to be. Yeah, I don't know. It does make sense. Lady Laura is always with Jin. And you almost never find time to practice with me. It's like he's her favorite. Come on, don't say that. I'm an equal opportunities driver. Liar! You're both my partners and very dear to me. There's no favoritism, swear. Are you really sure about that? I think Hayes is a bit jealous. I have been with you longer, after all. You think? All right, then. Starting tomorrow, Hayes gets to take the lead. Good? Wonderful! You don't mind? It's all right by me. Do you... remember? The last time we paid a visit to Indol? What did you think? You mean... about him? Let's see. In a word, he seemed very human, protecting his heart with a mask of lies. Are you curious what's behind it? Not really. Most humans are like that, aren't they? Cutting to the chase, I see. But I hear his achievements in Indol have been quite grand. The refugee protection policies from last year are his work as well. So a hypocrite, then. Isn't that what you call the type? Quite. I hope that's all he is. He smiled. Did you notice? No. I think... he might actually be enjoying this. What? 
the world in this state. That's interesting. You felt something was wrong, didn't you? That's why you brought me. Don't you think they're worth saving? If you think they are, you know you'll have my aid. Even if you disagree? That's not for the likes of me to decide. It's up to you humans. Oh, you mean that time. I remember. What about it? What Minoth said bothered me. I think he was talking about Malos, but his words could just as easily have applied to a Malthus. I suppose. What if all of this is what a Malthus... No. What all of humanity really wants? You don't mean it. Hey. What are we going to do if we defeat Malice anyway? You know. Like I told Hugo, go home and work the land. I didn't get to harvest the Grom rice this year. Well, that might be good enough for you. Hmm. Some others might not be too pleased with that. Who is this? Picked him up during a routine core collection. He was one of yours, right? As we discussed, I engaged him as a broker of cores, but no more. What a waste of a human being. That much is hard to deny. What are you driving at? Waste and refuse can have their own uses, I think. The project we spoke of before, I think it may be time to set it in motion. You mean... a blade eater? His strength will grow exponentially. It will dwarf even that of a flesh eater. And you can control him. Oh, please. Even if we can't, there's no need to worry. After all, this is just a prototype. Sooner or later, the binding will decay and he will die. Hmm. I hear... He's got some connection to this paragon of Torna, you see. He'll prove useful either way. Corner, then? He's on your mind, isn't he? Malos. Not him, but what comes after. Very good. We can stay here for the day. Something wrong? No, but this place is familiar somehow. It feels like it anyway. Is it possible you've been here before? I have no memory of it. But still. Um, maybe you could just have a little walk around. Something might jog your memory. Yeah, maybe so. Hey, you! You wouldn't be Ornelia's former blade, would you? Ornelia? No, I'm... 
from the Territorial Defense Corps. It is you! What? Oh, I remember him well. Even though I was knee-high to a grasshopper back then. With that sword slung across your back, you were so cool. If you hadn't come when you did, our village would have been... Oh, yes! The house you used to live in is still out there on the outskirts. House? I'll check out the back. Good. Desolate. I heard it's been ninety years, but what is it? Did you remember something? No, it's nothing. Really? That's too bad. I would have liked to have learned about the old you. I am who I am. I do not change. Uh! Laura, you okay? What happened? Uh, you, you got me right here. My heart's pounding! Huh? But... That... That was such an awesome line! What? Jin, you didn't even realize, did you? Sometimes you'll say something and I'll just swoon. But... I don't think any girl could refuse you. N no, I didn't mean to. No, ah, uh, you're smooth and you know it. Laura, what are you... Good times, smiling faces. It's her, right? Ornelia here. Yes. Yes, I think it is. Standing next to you, with such a goofy, blissful smile. It has to be, I'm sure of it. Are you? Hey, we should take a photo. Really? together. Uh, I'm sorry. When did this become a group thing? Me and Jin? Come now, Laura. We all drink from the same well, don't we? That's a wise saying, I think. I don't think that's strictly applicable here. You can't have done this in secret anyway. I've never done this before. Feels nice. Your Majesty, if I may say, it's no time for levity. Adrian, relax. You should be open to new experiences. Oh, fuck. Where did we fall in with him? Okay, ready for the photo? Everyone say, Glarna! How long have you been with Adam? Mm, three years, maybe? 
One year with Mithra. When my village washed away in a flood, Adam was the one that helped us out. Right. So it wasn't the war then? No, it was. Resources were running low, so we stripped the mountain bare. That's what caused the flood. Hey, Laura. Hmm? You were looking for your mother, right? Did you get separated during the war? If only that were the case. Hmm. There are some things you don't know about me. Uh, things? Mm-hmm. Oh. Okay. Mother used to work as hired help. When I was about ten, she was working as a maid. That was when Jin came into my life. You were a driver at ten? That's right. Things immediately turned bloody. I had to get out of there in a hurry. Seventeen years later, here I am. Wow! You don't look twenty-seven. I would have said twenty at most. <laughs> hey, flattery will get you everywhere. <laughs> Well, just like me and Mick, I guess. Yeah, like plenty of kids out there. That's why I'd like to help, stand by them. Just like Jin always stood by me. It's almost more real than real family. Right, don't you think, Mick? What, no reaction? I'm really trying here, you know. That's fine. He's smiling on the inside. Well now, you can tell. Sorta. Of. I see. Well, I'm feeling all inspired now. Just the spirit we'll need if we're going to set this world to rights. Yeah! You can join in, you know. What's that? You don't need to ostracize yourself for being an Aegis. That's not what I'm... I happen to think you've got a lot going for you, you know? <laughs> Should we really be bringing the kids along? Are you worried? Hmm. All rest is a dangerous place right now. The war reaches everywhere. I'm sure we can keep them safe in a normal fight. But if... <sighs> Where are you going? I want to speak with Adam. At this time of night? I'll see what he thinks about it. And if his mind is made up, there's still no harm done. Ah! Ah! How long have you been there? Hey, what are you doing in my bed? Huh? What are you talking about? It. This is where I sleep. It ain't your bed, lady. Ow. Oh, you're such a pain in everyone's bum. You know that, you simpleton. Hey, wait a minute. Calm down, both of you. Ow! Come on, take it down. No, 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 no! What's all the noise? Is something up? Um, it's probably better to sit this one out. Perhaps that's why. I'll just ask him tomorrow. Uh, morning. Ah, uh, um, uh, morning. You're hurt. Are you okay? Uh, yes. I imagine I'll live. Sounded like quite a scene. 
Yes, well, I was just collateral damage. Before, you said if you met a child in whom you saw something of yourself, you'd want to help them. I don't have the heart to leave them here. I know. And they've got their own concerns. They want to create a place for themselves in this world. At their age, it's remarkable. I think it's on us to see they don't come to harm. Right. And what a charge it is. That's not right. What's not right? This Titan. Why isn't it in its real form? You noticed. What do you mean? That isn't the original form of the Torn and Titan. In ancient times, the Torn and Titan held awesome power. Torna made use of that power to dominate all the rest for a thousand years. But the power was shut away in the reign of Electos I. Since then, the Titan has looked like this. See that glowing sphere in the castle tower? That forms the sea. Is that what Malus is aiming for? Why would he do that? Wouldn't it be a threat to him too? Truthfully, I don't know myself. But in any case, if he makes a move for it, it is clear what we must do. Agreed. You can see the palace in the distance. We should head there first. Offer our report to His Majesty. Malos aims for the seal? Yes. He draws ever closer to the capital. Leaving destruction in his wake. Our path here was littered with the wounds of his procession, my lord. So, the quester's report was true. Noble Hugo. At this time of grave peril, you have afforded us your trusty aid. Your due will be our eternal thanks. I'm scarcely worthy of it, Your Majesty. As the Titans breathe, I merely followed Prince Adam against the peril we face. In truth, it is to him that your kind praise is due. Ah, the trust of the dread Ardanian throne. It is a much-valued gift to our young scion of a letter. Mark it well. It gladdens me. Your most noble honors pierce my unworthy heart, my lord. Begging your pardon, lord, would that honor were the only currency in this grave business. An armed band transgressed the sacred boundaries of the capital without regal assent. The act merits bitter punishment. Suppose you that our soldiers can subdue Malos alone? I... I don't... Indeed. The army of resistance fearlessly dashes to our nation's aid. They tremble not in the face of the mightiest of foes. To punish them is unthinkable. 
Yes, but... Zeta, what does not bend only breaks. We must suffer to Adam his just bounty. I hereby enfeef you as Lord of Heblin. This is too much for me, my lord. First, I must busy myself with the command of the resistance force. We can't allow Malos to take the seal. I'd be much obliged if you could grant permission for the resistance to move freely within your lands, Lord. As you wish. Brave soldiers of Torna, hear your king. Our country must make its own sacrifice to halt the terrible power of the Aegis. Indol II pledges its flesh and blood to the cause. I humbly confess that it was my own lack of foresight which brought us to this pass. My brother, or rather, my lord, what is your aim? Why give Heblin to Adam? He has declined our offer. Perhaps our good wishes suffice. Yet still, he holds all the power. He makes allies of foreign lords without permission and gathers together a fighting force. Hmm. Zeta, my brother, hear me well. The second world rests heavy upon my crown, I fear too heavy for my mortal neck. M Majesty! And this disorderly throne is more apt for one such as Adam. Brother, you mean to set my birthright on the caitiff's shoulders? This is a first. Malos. So this is the Aegis. Malos. He has an awesome presence. We would do well to proceed with caution. Agreed. Your MO is different this time, Malos. What are you trying to do? If this is a joke, it's not funny. I got bored of it. Bored? Letting Siren have all the fun got old, I mean. I wanted to see the humans dance. The dance of death and the flames of hellfire. What do you... That. I know full well what the Torn and Titan truly is. Fair for everyone to see. Manos! Bastard! Each of the artifices I command holds ether energy that would rival even the largest titan. Imagine if a legion of them made it to the core of the Torn and Titan and unleashed that energy all the space. Our time for dancing would be short but sweet. You want me to stop? Had enough? Then try it. Come on! Come on! Adam Oracle, heir of Torna. Looks like that residence is 
it just for show? You're too kind. Golden eyes. I thought Tornins all had blue eyes. You're a bastard, is that it? My father is generous. He pays no attention to things like that. <laughs> You're wrong. You don't understand the consequences. Don't I? And you don't understand what humans are. Malos, we all know it. A diligent student, you could say. And learn this. Mithra! Heads up! Blades can do together. But you threw that away! <laughs> I don't need that crap. Better off without it.
Sorry. I let him escape. No, thank you. You saved us. You owe me one, then. It's been 80 years, hasn't it, Jin? You know me? You and Ornelia used to ride on my back. We used to have a lark flying about. Ornelia? From the photograph? And I suppose she's your driver now? My name's Laura. I've been with Jin for 17 years already. I never. You were fortunate to be picked up by her, Jin. Uncle, we're just in the way here. Perhaps we should leave it to the soldiers and just go. Yes, let's do that. Shall we head for the Tornan Womb? Yes, I'd say we're bound to. The Tornan Womb? Perhaps I should go first. Please, go ahead. We will join you once we've made a report to the King. What good was your militia? They could not halt Malos. Nor even safeguard the seal from his clutches. I have no excuses. Adam. <laughs> Majesty, this is a deep dishonor. I beseech you to lay them low, that the people may have faith in government. Majesty! Brother, your advice is wise. Your Majesty. Please, wait a moment. Adam only sought to protect your realm. Silence! Is your voice more important than the King's? But what of you, Zeta? What of me? Look first to yourself, I bid you. What do you mean? Surely, Adam sailed the ship into a rocky reef. But if he were the bow, you were the stern. Y your Majesty, those are bitter words. It was Adam's vanguard that let slip Malos. Would our army have succeeded with certainty, brother? In the hour of need, where were they? W we set the defense of the people as our highest goal, your Majesty. Our soldiers guided the townsfolk to safety. While Adam's militia flew, though rashly, into the breach, and the brave dragoons of noble Hugo wagered their lives as mere trifles for our nation's sake. But, but I... It unfolded thus. If honor took its natural course, the sons of Torna should have stood their ground. <sighs> Mark their honor above their frailty. You saw the battle with your own eyes, did you not, my brother? I... I did. And how did you think it? Words can scarcely describe it. It was unlike any mere human struggle. I fear I could not report it justly. Indeed, brother. Hmm? It was a fight beyond our ken. I, too, saw it with my own eyes. Our torn and crafts of war would have been doubly doomed against Malos. That's... Is it not folly to assume that our army could do what Adams could not? Your Majesty. Uh... Noble Hugo, my brother forgets grace and gratitude. Our nation hangs over doom like a ripened fruit. You and yours are our final ray of hope. Will you offer us aid again to avenge ourselves on the Aegis? We came with that very intention, Your Majesty. Didn't we, Prince Adam? Yes. Majesty, if it must be so, I will expend my life for the future of the land of my forefathers. While we're here, your name is Laura, is it not? Uh, me? Y yes. 
Your work impressed me deeply. No, I... Yet you are no knight, bear no peerage. Yes. I'm from a settlement in the distant borderlands. I serve with a mercenary band. I knew you for a while. Good lord. I would like to recognize your valiant labors. The title of Knight of the Realm, it is yours, if you would accept it. Me? A knight? Laura, my congratulations. I can hardly believe it. Me? Come now. A title is a mere decoration. Surely you learned that from me. I hope it will raise your spirits a little, Laura. Humble Laura, I have a request I must make of you. This day, the people of our nation shiver in the darkest of shadows cast by mighty Malos. But I bid that you seed a flower of hope in this shadow-mired land. I hope that I can. Your Majesty, I'll do my best. Well spoken, brave Laura. We shall anoint thee as Lady Laura tomorrow in the plaza before the palace. What an incredible place. It's the Matrix of our Titan. What does... When the time comes, this is where Blades come to be reborn as Titans. <gasps> you mean we'll all become Titans someday? It's nice to be here again. After eight hundred years. Were you born here too, Azurda? Hmm. After all, I was a blade born from the Tornan Titan. Of course, I don't have any memories of that time. Once a blade becomes a Titan, they can live without being bound to the driver who awoke them. One day, they may come to watch over their children as the very ground beneath their feet. And the fleeting bonds become eternal. It's the basis of the Tornan Creed. Eternal bonds. So, what now? Malice said he was going to wait. But can we really believe him? I don't think he lied. Why so? He was enjoying himself. That's why. I'd say he's having way too much fun to stop right now. He said that humans long for death. And that he was happy to oblige. Benevolent servant. Hey, Jen. That mask, you don't need it anymore. Yeah. Since you're a knight of Torna now, there's no danger of getting in trouble for resonating with a stolen core. What should we do with that? Nothing, I think. I think I'll keep wearing it. You went to all the trouble of making it for me. Yeah. I mean... Huh? 
Someday I'll die, and just like that you'll return to your crystal. Even if you forget everybody, at least you might be able to keep the mask that I made you. Laura. But I imagine that day's still a long way off, so don't worry. If I were a praying man, I'd pray this journal finds its way to you. Trusting that it will, I will use these last words to pass down a means of carving the bond between myself and my partner into this flesh. This is how it is done. a torn and driver now. Okay, let's make some memories. Adam's star is rising. It seems that the people love him. Huh. And naught but the fruit of the king's whimsy and an obscure woman. Ah. Yet, if only he were not the driver of the Aegis. You'd each have your just share of dignity. Is it really true that... Certainly, I did give life to Malos, but when he acts, it's divine will. The destruction of the world is the will of the divine. Indeed it is. Malos is the instrument of destruction. Making the architect's will imminent takes many able hands. Maybe this is exactly what they wanted. Become titans, have a longer life with humans. <laughs> huh? Oh, nothing. I was just remembering the previous time you said that. I did? My reply was, how about you? And what do you think you said? Huh. I don't wish for forever. All I want is my life with her. That's plenty. Ah. Spoken like a true blade. No one can begrudge you that. I wonder how it was for you. Well, honestly, I suppose I may well have been just like you, Jean. Still. Still? 
Being like this isn't so bad, either. After some years, or centuries, you find yourself ready for new relationships. I came to realize that. New relationships. Malos is heading for Torna's core. In the original configuration, the core is in the Titan's thorax. But the Titan hasn't shown signs of transforming yet. You think the Aegis is taking a nap or something? That would be fortunate for us. That mountain ridge makes up the upper body. That's where the core should appear. It will take some time before the troops are organized. Let us go on ahead. We depart in the morning. This sucks. How sitting in the capital? I want to go with you. Here we go. Way lame. The battle ahead is unlike any we've known before. Please remember that. Jin, can't you tell them? I swear we won't get in the way. No. In this battle, you'd be a distraction. Oh! One way to put it. Milton, you'll be a great help to Adam if you stay in the capital. <laughs> Come on, don't you get it? You're not hearing them. Okay, you'd be no help on the battlefield. In fact, protecting you from Malos would take all my energy. But hey, I mean, if you stay here and keep Mikhail out of trouble, we'll be able to fight the way we should. That's what they're saying. I don't need looking after. <sighs> See? You understand, don't you? What you need to do to help Adam? <sighs> Make me a promise. That you'll kill Malos and bring Adam back no matter what. Yeah, I promise. Great. Then we each know what we have to do. Hmm. Surprisingly diligent. You need some help? Nah. Just killing time. If you want to talk, I'm not sure I'm your guy. Keeping a journal, huh? Bridget's into it too. Is that like a thing now? Who knows? I am what I am, and so is she. You know when your driver dies, you'll return to your core. It feels kind of futile. There's nothing strange about wanting to know who you used to be once you reawaken. You can't be sure you'll even find it though, right? Even so, nothing's for certain, but it's some hope at least. That's a blade's lot. But what's the point? To keep the bond with your driver alive. The bond? I guess that's a little difficult for you to understand. Hey, don't be mean. You make it sound like I have no heart. <sighs> what? What I meant was, the true connection that's meant for you, I don't think you'll find it here. But Adam's my driver. Sure, he is. But I feel it's not the same somehow. Huh? 
Your real affinity lies in the future, not in the time we're in now. I just feel that in my bones. Call it Blade's intuition. It sounds kind of vague. To change the subject, thanks for before. For what? I didn't expect it. You're both so hopeless with the kids. So hopeless I can just watch. <laughs> I'll consider myself told. Is Malos there? There's no time. Keep moving. Malos will be waiting inside. I believe so, but it's got me thinking. What is his aim in doing this? Can it just be carnage for its own sake? Mithra? Maybe you understand this better, as an Aegis. No. I might have the same power, but that's all we have in common. Could it be a reflection of something in the depths of Amalthus's mind, perhaps? I really don't know. <laughs> Adam. Let's go. We can't afford to give him any more time. I've got a bad feeling. Jump ship with the rest of the rats. Tornans are braver than you think, Malos. Nobody here is scared of you. Look! Yes, I can see it. Ten minutes to go. Ten minutes before my gargoyles overrun the core entirely. 
If you can take me down, that means you win. If you can't... Well, end of story. Are you smart? We were born into the stinking world. Might as well have some fun. Life or death? Not much of a choice. But you gotta choose, partner.
you got, Mithra. Do it! Make me proud!
you. Everyone! You're leaving? 
Yes. The Royal Spirit Crucible is in Lithyria. I believe it'll keep this sealed. I see. I have a request for you. I hear that a malicious squad has evacuated to Specia. Give them a message from me. Once things are calm, they should come to Lithyria. Okay? Understood. I'll do it. What is that? Caught up with you at last, Laura. How do you know my name? It knows human speech. But it's not a blade. Gort? What happened to you? It hurt. It hurt when you cut my bloody arm off! Mm -hmm. Is this my arm? Hey, I have an arm! It still hurts, though. It throbs and it throbs and it just doesn't stop! I can't make sense of this. He's lost his mind. I don't think so. He seems ecstatic. I'll use your blood as a bath for my wounds. How about it? Sound fear? Yes! I'll start with you. You torn blade. I'm paying you back for cutting my arms off, you dog! I'll have me arms back. And I think I deserve some interest, too. I'll take your ears and nose as well. But first, I'll get your blood for my medicine. Then it'll be your turn, Laura. It's your meddling that did this to me, after all. And you and your bitch mother. I knew I should have got myself a decent woman. It's your bastard fault. Think you're gonna die quick? I'm gonna enjoy what suffer. You think you can pass judgment on my mother? You don't know us! Leave it, Laura. Trying to talk to him is a waste of time. He's right. No more mercy. This creature is beyond help. Jin. Hayes. You're right. I won't waste my mercy on him. But I will end his pain. Excellent. Allow me some prime time entertainment with you, girl. 
Shameless. To the very end. You can rest easy now, Mother. Somebody turned the gores into that horrible thing. Did they mean to kill us? I don't know. But... Malus dying won't necessarily be enough to bring peace to the world. That I am certain of. As long as there are people... There will always be strife, I suppose. Don't say that. Things can change. There's always hope. Don't you think, Jin? Yes, you're right. As long as... Blades and humans... are bonded to each other. Surely... someday... see uncountable meetings and partings. Yet, as your life's candle sputters and dies, whose face is it that rises to greet you? 
Happy is the man who can sleep in the comfort of the smile he sees then. No, I don't wish for forever. Even just for one moment, it's enough if it's with her. And yet, what is the man to do who has not been afforded that chance? The road stretches on without end. I cannot but walk down it. As long as I keep walking, I can hold out hope that one day, the time may come when I see her smile again. That hope keeps me afloat. You won't come back. This is the road I must walk. Our paths won't cross. But should we, in fact, ever meet again? On that day, since that day.